Hi, let's see a demonstration on how you can set up your screen so that the audio plays only the first time you visit the screen. This is my uh, decision screen and uh, these are my playout screens and I have linked them uh, together with the help of advanced answer options. So for each option you will see that uh, in my advanced answer options section you will find that I have uh, assigned an action of jumping to the related slide for each and every option. Okay, So uh, let's see what we have to do to set up the audio for the screen. Now the first thing we need to do here is we do not have to add audio to the slide. Instead we will be adding an audio to an object. Now that object can be anything. You can uh, you can add your uh, audio to a text box, highlight box or, or maybe a shape or anything. The easiest way uh, that I find is adding audio to your text caption. So I'll add a text caption here. Let me move it out of the way and uh, let me delete uh, the text that's there in this caption so that nothing is visible. The next thing I will do is uh, I will make it transparent so I change it to a transparent text caption. Now this text caption is all set and now I need to add audio to it. But before that let's name this uh, text caption so that while we are writing the advanced actions it will be easy for us to call this caption. So let's name this as D1 audio okay? and we will let it be in an invisible state so that we can control it with the help of advanced actions and variables. This is done and then we will add uh, audio to this particular uh, object so I'll uh, click the add audio button here I will import the audio. Here's my audio file and I'm hitting open. So this audio is attached to the text caption which is D1 audio. Okay, so the audio is here on the screen in an invisible state. Now the next step we have to do is we have to create a variable which will help us in checking whether the person is visiting this slide for the first time or any other time. So uh, let's uh, sorry let's uh, add a variable here okay. as this is a uh, decision one screen so I will probably name it as a D1 so that it's easier for me to remember there's no need of any value here so I will just name it as D1 and I close it now we need to write two actions here one action will be set uh, to the slide enter where it will uh, check whether the value of this variable which is d1 is 0 or 1 or maybe any other thing so the uh, the concern here is that if it if the value is 1 then it should hide the audio and we will also be setting one more action where we will be changing this value let me show it to you so i'll go to project and advanced actions okay and here we have to create a conditional action let's name it as decision 1 so that it's easier to identify and here we will name this decision as control audio okay this is done and now we will check whether uh, this variable which is uh, d1 is equal to literal value of 1 if it is 1 what we have to do is we have to hide the audio okay so as soon as the value changes to 1 we have to stop playing the audio so we will hide the text caption which has audio related to it so that was D1 so I will select D1 and then I want it to continue okay so this is the action that we have to write for uh, then and then uh, here we will if uh, the value is not 1 then we have to play the audio which is the first case when uh, when they will uh, see the screen so I will say show and I will go to D1 audio and here also I want it to continue after that okay so I'm saving this action the other action I have to put on the try again button of the playout screens so let's add a new action here okay I want a new standard action okay. here I will uh, let's name it as try again okay and here what what I have to do is I have to assign this particular variable which is d1 with a value of 1 
okay and then I want to jump to the slide so that uh, jump to the question slide so that they can go and take the question again okay I will save this so our scripts are ready now what we need to do is we need to assign these scripts to the slides so this slide with this slide being selected we will go to the properties panel and on enter action we will say execute advanced action and here we will select decision one okay this is done and now we will go to the playout screens playout screens for the wrong option selected we will go and select the try again button go to the properties panel and here we will set the action as execute advanced action and here we will have to assign try again okay similarly we will go to the next uh, playout screen again the same action we'll go and assign the value of the variable to 1 and jump to the question slide so that they can go and take the quiz again so again I'll select the try it button and execute advanced action and try again okay so this is done let's preview the screen so I will preview the project here's my course so I'll hit the start button you can see that uh, the audio played the first time let's see if we select the wrong option I'm hitting the try it button and now when I come back to the screen the audio doesn't play let's try it once more and see if it works Did you check for similar and now I'm back on the screen and you can see that no audio plays thanks for watching the demonstration